Hello, welcome to Art Bites from the Marianna Kistler Beach Museum of Art. My name is Kim Richards and I'm an education assistant at the museum. And today I'd like to share with you this painting entitled Lighted Windows. Lighted Windows is an oil painting painted by Albert Block around 1953-1954. Albert Block was considered an American modernist and expressionist and was the only American to participate with the Blue Rider group in Europe around 1911 to 1913. Albert Block was born in St. Louis, Missouri in 1882 to immigrant parents. His father was from what we know as the Czech Republic and his mother was from Germany. Albert took extra art classes in high school and left school at 16 so that he could attend the St. Louis School of Fine Arts, which is now part of Washington University. Around that same time, he started working for The Mirror, which is a weekly magazine published in St. Louis. He contributed cover art, caricatures, cartoons, and writings. The editor of The Mirror, William Reedy, recognized Albert's talent and wanted to help him um, pursue a further education. So after two years in New York, Block and his family moved to Europe with the support of Reedy, who provided a monthly allowance, and Block continued to send items back to the mirror for publication. Block and his family lived in Munich, and instead of attending the Munich Academy, where he would have received a formal art education, he did things a little differently. He got, um, went to a private schools and took art lessons there, and also went to museums to study a more self-taught um, method. When he returned from a trip to Paris, um, he saw a catalog of an exhibition that had already ended by the new student, the new artist union of Munich. The pieces that he saw in this catalog really excited him. They were um, artists work that were experimenting with some of the things that he was also experimenting with. And these are some of his paintings from that time period. Um, these blocks of objects that are big blocks of color using these bright true colors and using a more blocky style and also creating um, like painting things in in colors that aren't their natural colors. So he sought out to meet some of these artists and ended up being friends with Franz Marc and Wassily Kandinsky. Both of these two artists eventually invited Bloch to participate in exhibitions with the Blue Rider group. The war started in World War I in 1914 and the group informally disbanded Many of them went off to fight in um, the war. Block and his family stayed in Germany and uh, he participated in several important art shows as well as some one man exhibitions. But by the time the war was over, the conditions in Germany were not good and it was time for Block to move back to the United States. He also needed to find uh, some new financial support. Um, he had lost his support from Reedy, and there was a collector in Chicago who purchased several of his pieces and became a supporter. When arriving in the United States, his first job was at the Art Institute of Chicago. He taught a class there for a year, and he also had a very successful show in New York. However, it was at this time that Block decided he wanted to pull out of being active in the art market. He wanted to spend his time expressing and painting um, the way that he felt led to do and not have to worry about trying to paint for, for sales, for art sales. So he needed to find other work and he um, received a job offer to um, be a professor at the University of Kansas in their Department of Painting and Drawing. While at um, Lawrence, he taught um, art classes. He gave art history lectures. He also was working on um, translating works from German uh, writers and writing his own work as well. 
He organized readings with the language departments and um, he painted. Around 1947, he suffered a heart attack and he retired from his professorship. But he continued to paint for a little over a decade more and also was able to publish um, those verses and writings that um, he'd been working on. After an extended illness, Block passed away in 1961. I'd like to share this quote from Block. I paint still lifes, landscapes, and composition with figures, just like everyone else. Only with me, the result is inescapably a complete spiritualization of the object, a total fusion of matter with spirit, blurring the remnants of the tangible object. So let's take a look at some of these remnants in our featured art, the lighted windows. You could certainly say this is a composition of figures, trees, and building scapes. However, things don't look exactly realistic. If we first focus on the color, gone are those bright, pure colors from um, the early painting years. And he's focused now on earth tones with kind of a wash over the top of blues and whites, which Block often used to create that spirituality that he was looking for. The um, objects in the painting all seem to be vying for um, equal attention from the viewer. If you look at the buildings in the back, they're kind of overlapping each other and seem to be moving to the uh, forefront of the image. The trees in the center also seem to be characters in whatever action might be happening in the piece. And then there's these figures in the front. Block often included hooded figures in his work. And we see two of those on the left and a third figure over on the right. So thinking about these pieces a little bit more, what about that light coming from the windows? Is it warm and inviting? Or is it someplace unobtainable? What about the sky? Is it clear? Or is it seem to be menacing? And then focus on these figures. What may be happening or not happening with them? What is going on here? Thank you for taking the time to um, let me share Albert Block and Lighted Windows with you. And we hope that you join us again soon.